flu season is in full force. The State Department of Health already confirmed two flu-related deaths in Indiana this year. And when it comes to the flu, it's especially hard to escape this virus in a communal workspace. So our own Aaron Lish joining us live with experts at Office Pride on how you can keep a clean and healthy office. Aaron, good morning. Good morning. So hopefully we all have our flu shots, but we don't know how effective those are yet. So we have to take those extra measures. So we have Scott Gibson here with yep. us. We've been talking about making sure your keyboards are clean, the kitchen's clean, but there are some other spaces that you really need to focus on. There are, and it's the common areas other than the ones we've already talked about. We're in a copy room now, and there's all kinds of touch points in here. There's light switches, there's the, the copier and scanner, and you can see there's fingerprints on here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the disinfectant wipe several times during the day will take care of that. But also remember the handles to the, to the um, paper trays and then the tops of these areas as well. And then you have the common area counters. Here's your stapler again, right. your hole punch, all kinds of things that you touch during the day that you need to wipe to disinfect, including the um, cabinet handles, which is obviously um, frequently forgotten. And I walked in here and you guys even had wipes and this hand sanitizer right. there. Should you have this in every room at your office? I think so, yeah, because anything that you can do to combat it during the day will keep it at a bay until the commercial cleaning company can get in there at night. And you have the wipes, you have the hand sanitizer. Should you wait till everything dries to try to try to do anything or what's the wait time for that? Well, uh, these dry pretty quick. I mean, obviously that's already um, dry. You see these at the grocery stores for the grocery carts. They wipe and go. So I think that really with dwell time, you don't have to worry about that so much during the day for the preventative, but for the deep clean at night, you do. All right. We're going to have a little bit more coming up in the next half hour, wrapping all of this up for you guys. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.